Hello, my name's Kit, I'm from uh, Gorilla Physics and Primrose asked me to explain to you what it is that I really love about physics. Well, Primrose, it's actually what I love about science because I just love doing the experiments. So I love coming up with it, taking a situation, thinking about why that might be like that, why does that cause that, why is the relationship so as it is, making your hypothesis and then going and finding your data, analysing it and finding yep, our ideas about the situation, our understanding is actually correct as far as this experiment goes and I think that's that's just absolutely magic. For example, I did a video recently on an earthquake simulator, a little plate that vibrates and you can put these spaghetti and they um, simulate buildings and different lengths of buildings. I didn't really know how the relationship was going to work so I played about with it for a little while and I kind of thought about what I knew about oscillators and I decided it was probably going to be more like a mass spring system than a pendulum. So I tried applying the mass spring equation and uh, me and the students then got a set of results and we found that in, indeed it did vary uh, with a straight line relationship as we were expecting when we plotted the time period against one over the root of the length. And that's absolutely fascinating, we did really, really, really well with that. I just love physics when it's uh, something surprising, when it's something that's a bit counterintuitive, like for example just recently we were working on diffraction patterns, interference patterns with light, and um, we get laser light um, going through some gaps and it diffracts and then uh, it overlaps and you get this pattern of light and dark uh, fringes. And um, the point is, you know, it was amazing for the kids to find out that actually light and light can meet at, at one place and actually just cancel it, cancel out and light plus light equals darkness is completely surprising to them I think. Um, so I really find that really quite exciting. And then for example in a real life situation where um, some understanding of physics gives you better control over your situation. So we had this um, day in my previous school where it was absolutely sweltering hot day, you know, the kind of day where you would just spend the whole day looking out the window thinking gosh I wish I was outside, wish I was going down the park or whatever and uh, in playing football, enjoying myself, and uh, of course on that day, that's the day when the big end of unit test fell, and of course I'm going to carry on with what I've planned, and I felt really bad about this, all these kids came in, and they sat down diligently, quietly, you know, like, oh, we're going to do this test anyway, <laughs> I've got all the windows open, I've got the fan going, to try and cool it down at least a little bit, but it's a horrible, horrible, uh, you know, de uh, situation to be in, really, and, um, this fan's going and this fan, you know, they're all quietly working and this fan's rocking backwards and forwards, this big, like, freestanding fan is making this horrible creaking noise, ear, 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 horrible, and um, it's putting them off their test, I can tell this, and, but I, I got up and I thought, oh, I've got to do something about this, because it's putting them off, and you can see they're looking at me thinking, no, don't, don't turn the fan off, whatever you do, we, we, we need this fan on, and um, rather than turn it off, I actually turned the power up on this fan, and it stopped straight away, and it just didn't, do any more vibrations and um, look to me, what, you know, how can that be? How can that be that turning the fan up means it's vibrating less? And of course, it's what I knew about resonant frequencies um, and simple harmonic motion meant that I could control that situation better. I love science, I love teaching science because uh, it, it should be the most engaging lesson in your school, and if it's not, then you're not getting enough practical, you're not getting enough understanding. And, uh, you need to maybe watch a bit, a bit more of Primrose Kittens videos.